What's up, bye guys, it's Alk here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Lately I've been looking at some of the older things I built, and ended up coming across something I worked on a long time ago. I never showed it in an episode because I had some issues with it, but it seems like it's been working so I do want to show it off, and I want to see if you guys want to see more of it, or would like to see an upgraded version of it, or see something done with it, say incorporate it into a larger build. But what I'm going to be looking at today is the Smart Rail System. It's a little monorail system I designed. The bug I had, and I think it's part of the train station, I guess you could say, the monorail station I built with it, but these two overhead wheels will sometimes glitch out, the bearings will extend, and it will pretty much just rip open, allowing this rail to fall through. I'm not sure what causes that, but lately it's been stable, so I'm hoping that that may be fixed and I'm starting to think it might be the monorail station that I used to use that might have caused some of the issues. So there's half a dozen different sensors on it. The green sensors are simply for finding turnarounds whenever it sees a pull it will automatically turn around. The blue sensors have to deal with the stations. It'll automatically detect a station, usually a five wide block. It'll stop for a few seconds, it'll open its gate. After a few seconds, it'll continue, close its gate, and move on. And yes, the gate does open at random sometimes due to the detecting the stations. There's a, there's a few issues here and there with it. And the red sensors are emergency stop sensors, just in case you're working on the rail or you just don't want it to move, you can hit those switches. There are also some switches that are under the floor, which were meant to integrate with the stations so you could send commands from the station. However, like I said, the stations have been giving a few glitches, as we see here, the top off. And it's not really hard to set up a stop point or a station, a makeshift station like this. And one thing with this is it will stop at a station and there's a cool down time before it will stop again. So if you do put a station at the end of the line like this, it won't stop at it twice. And this was originally just meant to be something that could easily be added onto. And it's meant to go back and forth along a single track rather than a loop or rather than have junctures. And as you can see, the track is very, very simple. Over here, it's literally just half pieces stacked on top of each other, like that, to make that corner. And these corners don't have to be very long. And here in a second I'll hop up on top to show you the mechanism that allows it to take those corners like it does. Here you have a pivot underneath this bar which pushes against these two springs so as you go around the corner it will automatically adjust to the shape of the corner and so will this back one. As it comes around it just resets the straight piece. You also have two little rolling pieces on the side as you can see they start rolling make sure there's as little friction as possible and you have two bearings up top which are the motors now we just stopped at the station so we might as well hop in and this isn't the fastest thing it's not going to get you from point A to B, point B really really quickly it was mostly meant to like sit on top of these mountains here and send you between them that's what my goal was with them as well as possibly setting it up so it can go down in elevation. Right now it's not supposed to go down in height. It's supposed to sit on a level track. However in the future I would like to experiment with that possibly making it so it can go all around the world up down left right wherever it needs to go. So if this is something you'd like to see me continue or you'd like to see an update a mark 2 version or you'd just like to see a big long track where we just get to ride inside this for a little bit let me know if you really want to you can also change the speeds from in here and there are some emergency override buttons so just in case you are going the wrong way or it does get stuck at one of the pillars you can hit the green switch will reverse its orientation or we'll get it unstuck from a pillar the red switch is emergency stop and honestly I forget what the blue switch does I think it's meant to override 
stopping at stations, yes, it does override stopping at station. So yeah, that's really it from a technical standpoint. This was an old creation. This was a while before I really understood logic. And the majority of it is just hidden up here. At the time, I really didn't understand logic all that well. That's why it's an absolute mess. But I wouldn't mind redoing it just to make it look nicer and possibly be a bit bigger, be a bit better. But if you want to see that, let me know. But I think that's going to be all for this episode. Just a quick look at an older creation. So if you did enjoy this smart rail system, please let me know. Comments below. Let me know if you'd like to see more of it. I will do so. So if you do enjoy the if you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, please leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy the channel, enjoy what I'm doing, please subscribe, it helps a lot. Until next time, this has been Al playing with an older creation scrap mechanic. Until next time, peace.